I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls need your Christmas card. <laughs> And Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. Uh, I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't you wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye, yeah, all right. Uh, sorry, Geralt. Stay in this place. Well, Davy must have gone back on shore last night. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right, I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. This is cosy. Tight bastards.
You all right, Roy? Cars, me old mucker. I do. McClary, to my office. That means no, not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the polis? Can't be surprised, Kaz. You hear from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ach, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. But you're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that McCleary. Not off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give us peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. All right. Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Yeah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it affects the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs> And I hope there's some leftovers. Home sweet home.
up to see what the score is. Am I all right to get by, pal? It's all right. You have to go around, Kaz. There, fellas, a clearing. No, I can scale up in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You give me less lip. No, he loves it. McCleary, my office. And don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, guys. You get used to it. We all get done. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. What's the problem? Three we see you down here. Ah, Trolls acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies. But they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that you behind schedule then? Oh, not yet. And not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Trust you if you get close. McLean! Jesus, Scooby! Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? Where do you need Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, no bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, alright? Thanks, pal.
Well, we'll be fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking book on a UE gob site's messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, look, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here some other who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? Fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! That, uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fire. Come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. for you guys. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favour. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's gone cold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's dead! We got you, man, alright? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Cass! 
Weak up, guys. Why is he not weak enough? Can you hear me? Is he going to die, Brody? Guys. <laughs> up on your feet. My heat's killing me, but... Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Brass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right. Aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Rafts, it's all right, we're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. Nobody knows, but whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's pro day. I'm gonna get you out. Uh, is there anything Mayor I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, I'll head down now. 